What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here with Ari at camp in the Underdark in the Tower. Magical Tower. <laughs> We're going to explore more of the Underdark before we head out to the upper areas where Lazale's quest is. But before we do any of that, I want to long rest and talk to more of the companions. We probably don't have anything if we just go around and talk to them right now. But I say we just long rest and see what happens. Look, we got our best boy and best boy here. I can't. We can pet him again. Should we see if Scratch has anything to say? keeping well, friend. We're gonna pet and pet and pet. You know, we had to make a decision on if we're gonna fight that. Autobot. <laughs> Just call him an Autobot. I don't know what he is. What was his name? Bernard? What path lies before me? I don't really want to fight him, I don't think. I think I'm just going to let him go. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, Karlak. I'd love to be able to touch you properly. You need to stay behind? No. Who we got in... Well, let's just go with this crew for now. I, I kind of like it. Let's see what happens. Look at Ari. He's running like he's got something stuck up there. Huh. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. So we're still good. Did you want something? With her. And we're still good with Karlak, it seems. And nothing. I don't think anyone has anything, honestly. Yes. I think it's probably just... Well, we still got this flower here. What are we gonna do with this flower? Are we just gonna leave it in camp? What happens if we fight in you camp? You wish to speak? We will be able to use any powers. The shadow curse you spoke of. Surely it can't be that bad. We talked to him about that. We talked to him about this. And about that. Anything else on the owlbear? You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Please don't. You like it here, huh? Looks like I'm stuck with you. We've already asked him this, but let's do it again. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin camp smells like goblins. Dead goblins now. Well, spiders. I think the spiders are just there chilling. Looks like I'm stuck with you. Yes. Fun. Let's pet him. <laughs> Take it easy, Albear. What are we gonna name the Albear? We gotta think of a name. I mean, we got Scratch. What about Itchy and Scratchy, huh? How about that? That works, I guess. <laughs> sure. Speak. Nothing. No. I just don't think anyone has anything. Look, I'm pretty excited to go around the Underdark here. We have some places around the tower that I would really like to just explore, like the bottom area of that. Well met. That beach, I guess. We have so much more stuff that we can do in the Underdark, it looks like. Just so much places. How can I help? Okay, sure. Take it easy. No one. Okay, we did... I remember changing to Valor Bard. We're going to be more tanky. I mean, look at us with our shield. <laughs> Sword and shield. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Let's call it a day. Auto-select. As long as it doesn't use... Do we still have the owlbear egg in here? Shit, friends. I don't see it anywhere. I'm pretty sure... Hold on here. I'm pretty sure it's in our inventory. I don't think I used that last time, did I not? Look at all these fucking books that we got. <laughs> oh, no. I think we used the owlbear egg. Unless it's in camp here? Let me look in the traveler's chest. Wait. I'm pretty sure I did not use that sucker. Let me look in... Jesus. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Let me look in here to make sure we didn't use it. So I'm almost like 100% certain that we didn't use it. It's just gone. Unless... Yeah, like we didn't use it. I don't think the game... Whenever we do auto-select, we may have used it last episode. I don't think we did, but I guess I'll go back and look. But I'm pretty sure we did not use it. 
Like a hundred percent didn't use it, and it's not it's no longer in here. I didn't sell it either. I didn't put it on nobody. It's not in the chest. So what the fuck happened to it? Because when we auto-select it never picked it. Unless it just picked it last time, and if it did, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Action just... not reaction. Oh, well how to do that? No time to rest. I just wanna make sure I'm gonna pop a later save. Earlier save this to see, 100%, if we did use it, and then I'll come back to this point. Well, it's definitely 100% in our inventory around the time that we did the interaction with <laughs> where Shadowheart was about to kill Lazale. It was definitely in the inventory then, I think. 100% believe that we may have fed it to the owlbear. <laughs> we may have fed the owlbear the owlbear egg, I think. Because I remember, obviously, the owlbear was hungry, we gave the owlbear food, and then... Yeah, so whenever the owlbear came to the camp, that seems to be around the saves that it was gone. My feet can carry me. That's unfortunate. Anyways, let's get to going to bed here. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, what were we were gonna do with it? It could have been a quest item or something, or it could have been... We could have sold it for a lot of money. It looked like it was a lot of money. But I think we fed it to old Albear here. We're gonna name the Albear. I said itchy, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's full rest. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Hurry towards the sound. Leave it. Those animals aren't your concern. Uh, should we hurry towards it? Let's go. They sound like harpies. What's going on? Oh, something was wrong. Are you two friends? Hey, are you two friends? Friends, it's nice to have company while you're gone all day. Goblins had me in a cage, poked me with pointy sticks. Hush now, it was just a nightmare. We're safe here with Master. He'll settle in. Give it a little time. They're best of friends, that's so cool. You two look cozy together, bad dreams aside. All right then. So long. Nobody's gonna hurt. I mean, you can hurt people if you want. I mean, people that are approaching the camp that are bad guys. Did you call me master just now? He did just call us master right now. You two look cozy together. Bad dreams aside. He's still young. I remember Gonwick would let me sleep under his cloak when I was a pup. It helps. Did you just call me master? I, I, I suppose I did. You've been good to us. To both of us. Gonwick would be happy I'm with you, I think. Like it here. Warm fire. Scratch reminds me of big brother. You just ate your little brother, I think. <laughs> we gave him the egg. Oh, you had to. <laughs> oh, you're both welcome here. Wait, did you say you have a brother? Yeah, did you say you have a brother? Used to. Mother ate him. Fucking hell. You ate your little brother and your mother ate your big brother. What the hell? How? What? Why? Well, you're both welcome here. Keep it down, folks. You're trying to rest. Now, nah, you can be as loud as you want. I'm pretty sure everybody's good. We probably sleep like a rock. Well, you're both welcome here. <laughs> Thank you. Itchy and scratchy. <laughs> I love it, friends, I do. It just makes me feel cheeky. I just smile my ass off when we get a chance to hang out with the animals, pet them, you know, all the good stuff. I don't think we should... We probably don't really need to talk to anyone. Any... 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 Body. Any... 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 Itchy, scratchy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I love it that they're best friends now. Oh, we gotta pet him. 
Wait, did I hit fast forward? I think I did. <laughs> Sorry, Scratch. I you wanted to pet you. Very and delicious, but I will not bite you. I guess we just don't really have anything no. else with the no. companions. Take care, friend. I'm going to check in with Carlag if she doesn't have anything that I. Oh, oh I hi. Okay, let's get out and about, shall we? Let's get out and about and start our day. Let's go explore around the Underdark. I was thinking to put Will in a party. Leave the camp. We got our friend Bernard here. Where he gave us a hug. Autobot hug. Guardian of the Enchanted Tower. I was thinking about putting Will in the party. And just gliding off of this bad boy. So what happens if we just go there? Is it going? To, it, it's going to do it for us. This is so great. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? Hold, hold on here. That was quick. Oh, it's the chest. Wait, is it? Oh, it's showing this damn thing. Okay, what I wanted to do anyway was I was. I want to look over here and explore. We have a lot of stuff down here in this little nook. Look, there's more. Susser tree here. There's a susser tree over there, too. Oh, wow. There's a grave right there. Is that a gravestone? That most definitely is a gravestone. How do we get up there? We're gonna have to go back. Look at this Goonies shit here. It looks like the Goonies. I wanted to jump off this son of a bitch. I wanna die though. If we die, we're gonna lose this damn thing, aren't we? I'm not testing the companions, so I feel bad if they die. Okay, 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 let's go. <laughs> let's go explore. This tower's done. We could have talked to Bernard more, but I kind of don't want to fight him. And I feel like the other answers, well, he's not going to like it. We have some things to look out for. There was that button up top there that did something. We pressed it. It said that, well, it looks like you have to be small. Why was this button down here? It looks like it's for something that's small. And we don't know what that's for. We also have the guy that was here and the lady that was here. There was also something about, we read a codex one point, and there was something about a grave. There was, a, to be fair, there was a codex about a grave. I'm not gonna be able to find it now because I probably done put it all in the gray. Let's just see. And written a letter. Pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is this is the one that I want. Well, let's read this again. Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in the hells would you tame a boulette? This is yeah, this is the one I wanted to know about because there's a boulette somewhere around here. We fought it twice, or we fought it once, and then the second time it kind of just helped us. But is it good or is it bad? Just because you found it near Mariner's grave doesn't mean that that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you're feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amrith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the Autumn Crocus flowers on Mariner's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was... Oh, shit. It's a dog, then. Friends, it's a dog. Obviously, it says it's a dog, but... Okay, so... This is a grave. Mariner's grave. That we just seen a grave. That has to be Mariner's grave. It just has to be. And Mariner likes... It really warms my heart that you put 
autochromos. You know what's crazy? Is that they had a dog, right? And I bet you that button was for a fucking dog. Because they, literally every single companion said that why would the button be down so low? It's probably for a fucking dog. For an animal. Has to be. Autumn crocus flowers? We're gonna find this grave and put flowers there? I don't know. I did alchemy before I came in. We have no more, uh... We have no more alchemy anywhere. Unless we pick up some more flowers. But I seriously did all the alchemy. Friends, we got so much alchemy. I've been doing alchemy every now and again, jumping in. But... Oh, hey, I'll take that. Well, we can look around for more auto Caracas flowers and see about, you know. It's warm and toad still. Down here somehow. I'm gonna get down here. I think the best way to get down here would not be through the chasm here. But probably looks like this way. Look at this shit. There's that mushroom circle, and this is where the first bullet was. This is when we first came in here, basically. We're going down here. Swarming toadstool. <laughs> I really do love exploring the Underdark, because it's just unknown. We don't know what the hell we're going to find here. Let me over here. A cap. It looks abandoned. It looks abandoned, but I just heard something. It sounded like a spider. You think it's abandoned, but it probably isn't abandoned. Look, there's a fucking train track here. This bad boy's not abandoned. There's no way. We got a hell of a team here. We're gonna smash and bash with this team. It really does seem like a good team for Ori. Like, up close and personal in melee. Let's go down here. This is the area that I wanted to check out. Wait. What's that? Looks like something to pick up, alright. Something over here. On the map. Mini map. Hey, oh. There's a bunch of nonsense. Look, we can still. I love that they put the. the reverted this back. Thank you. For small favors, honestly. There's an antidote, which is... I mean, there's a gold necklace. That can't reach. How the hell are we gonna get that? Oh, we're gonna have to jump up. Though, to be fair, we can probably just... I crave really blood. can just jump up here with Lazale, probably. Yeah, there's a beast. Look at that necklace. Oh, right. well, that was... So what would that necklace do? It's just a gold necklace. There's nothing. Oh, that was Ari. I was about to say, Ari, you don't have no strength for that shit. I'm gonna knock us prone. Well. Oh, no. You'll be missed, Lazale. Okay, I'm not going to Karlak. Because Lazale will probably jump up there. Well, like a beast. Half-eaten apple and simple boots. What is this? They should all be running. They should all be running. He's so edgy. He's been so edgy for so long. I feel like Urge is really getting to him. I'm gonna eat that half-eaten apple, man. <laughs> We're gonna loot everything in the Underdark. Simple boots. Okay, let's keep on making our way over here. Glowing bulb. We're gonna have to shoot them damn things. And this looks like... How is this not... Okay, so there's no way to get across in there. We can't swim. This was just... Let's go up. Let's go back up. We probably can go down. Yeah, right here. Underdark. Burger boat? It's red. The Dwerger are the Grey Dwarves, right? I was actually gonna pick one of them. That's what that's what 
If we weren't a draw, I was thinking about being a burger. What a volume is this? Jeez. So out of order, huh? No, 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 no. That's rotten shit. We don't want no rotten stuff. Splattered diary. The approach. The approachable east. Let's read this splatter diary. A badly charred diary with property of Walbrun written on the inside cover and one of the few illegible entries. The author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Marcus again. Now that he's departed with the surface, Marcus. Marcus. We heard the name Marcus, friends. Is that the one? Marcus was the one. That was part of that crew. Was he not? Part of the crew for the Night Song thing. What is this? Discovered a history of orphans? We read a book about Lost Prince Orpheus. It claims that Vlacketh is not the true queen of the Gith Yankee, and the Prince Orpheus is the true heir. That's for when Lazale read us that book. Interesting. That? Couldn't have came at a better time, really, if you think about it. Because we're going to be going to the Get the Yankee camp here shortly. Oh. Shit, we can go up here. It's a wet flow. Okay. Let's not go up yet. Let's explore over here. To executed Deep Gnome? I guess we can steal their shit, huh? Sure. An executed deep gnome? Crooked wand of fireballs. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Should we test it and see if we can talk to the dead here? Warps is too damaged, corpse is too damaged, and no target. They're all too damaged. Damn it. This is blocked off, so somebody executed. The other ones are just dead. Hear the music? Look, there's more executed. Someone executed this whole. Damn. Perception failed. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! Wait, hold on here. Here to select. Fucking Garlock is all the way over here. Oh Someone's sneaking way. up on us. That actually scared the hell out of me. Carlac, get over here, you silly goose. Someone's definitely... This might actually work to our advantage here. If you think about it. That legitimately just scared me. I didn't see anybody in there. Logan. Oh, shit. They're all... They can all just... That, I guess that works. Hold up your palms in peace. <laughs> I come in peace, my friend. Wasn't expecting one of you drow to join the hunt. Praise the absolute. Did something to upset disciples of real. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. I'm not with the absolute. Show some respect. I'm a true soul. Deception, I'm here at the absolute's bidding. That's all you need to know. <laughs> sure. Should we? Yeah. Let's do it. Ten. We have no bonuses here from any of the companions. Because it's like they're not... Let's just try. Fifteen, that works. Sure. No harm in checking. Anyway, the hunt's not over yet. Who are you hunting? A hunt? Charming. Do tell. What hunt? Explain yourself. A hunt? Charming. Do tell. Tracking a runaway slave. Deep gnome. Stole boots from my sergeant. I'm to kill the runaway. But she's holed up with myconids. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head. Make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff. Laughing. 
Nothing like sweating, shaking, a scent of cornered prey. I'll see what can be done, but I expect an award. What does this runaway look like? And what does this runaway look like? <laughs> Might be the one that's executed. Though, to be fair, they're probably executing all gnomes here. What are you doing with slaves? This is your concern, not mine. What is it? Yeah, what do they look like? Deep gnome with boots too good for a slave. That's all I know. Is it the one that was up top? Remember? The one that was on the fucking <laughs> the windmill? I'll see what can be done, but I expect the reward. What are you doing with slaves? Gone clearing rubble. We got orders from Moonrise to reach some old ruins. There's something the absolute wants tucked away in there. I don't know if I want to say this. I feel like this might give into the urge here. And I don't really want to say it. I don't want to become edgy Ari. <laughs> He's becoming edgy Ari. On his own. Slowly. I see what can be done, but I expect the damn reward. Serving the absolute ought to be reward enough. But no matter. Sergeant Thrin will cough up big to hear that slave's got a comeuppance. The stolen boots will do nicely as proof. A drow such as yourself could name his prize then, I reckon. I'll keep watch here. No might make a run for it. This is the thing, Karlak. You have to think of the bigger picture here, right? I'm not exactly going to give the gnome back to him. I'm going to find the gnome and probably free him. I'm going to be honest. But I guess I understand if you didn't like it right now. But we're not really... I don't think we're just going to give the gnome over. <laughs> Sir, you you'll want to speak to Gek. He's in charge. So nice. Call me sir. Moving in. Faded logbook. Alright, well, where did we come in at over here? We're looking for the executees. Executees. <laughs> the executed. We didn't go up there. Oh, there's the executed. Okay. We're right here. Well, let's go in here. Let's read this logbook that they got going on here. A rune and such. Let's pick that one up. Listen, we're gonna have to just, uh, we're gonna poke at them. We're gonna poke at them codexes. There's so many of them, though. The inside cover reads Burrow Warden Myrna. The pages are lined with knee calculations, equipment logs, and expedition notes. The final entry reads, Expedition number 42, back after a 10-day in the Northern Quadrant. Two potential missing sites scouted discovered a vein of... Erendor? Well, so did a bang-up job, organized shifts, and led the first dig. Brother or not, he'll be a great bird warden one day. But he needs to keep his temper in check and practice reading the stone. He's as blind as a surfacer sometimes, planning to take him out later along the Ebon Lake to practice mining. It's like a mining. It's just the same old hat. Dwarves, mining, caves, it's it's a thing. It's like in every game. Every game, movie, book. It's all the same. We have an executed gnome, but I think we can probably take their shit. Hey, where'd you come from, pal? Were you there the whole time and I just missed you? Wasn't expecting company like yours, sir. Thank you. Take care. I wonder who runs the Underdark, though. Runs? Who's in charge of the Underdark? I can't remember from D&D lore. But is there a specific race that runs the Underdark? I mean, you got the Grey Dwarves, you got the Grey Elves, you got the Grey Gnomes. Which one is like the leader down here, per se? What do you think it is? I'm gonna go with the, the drow. It's gonna say it's the drow. You know? It just has to be. You got anything else here, uh, Get Cole? Get the leather. I ain't wasting more words on you until it's done. Attack him? I'm not attacking him yet. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go loot the hell out of your camp, though. You just have so much executed people here. You can kill all these damn no. They're just going around killing and killing. Can we? Do you think we can, uh... Also one of these people? 
They don't even care. Hey, grave robbing right here. So we're looking for boots somewhere. Somebody's got some boots somewhere. What are damage letter? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a underdark beach. Friends, we got a, a fast travel point. Cool. Works for me. Let's read this, get the fast travel point, and then see if we can raise one of these corpses and then just keep going around. A water damage letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore of the Ebon Lake as Dwarger are rumored to be prowling in the area. We're scared of the Look at this motherfucker, ain't got no shirt on over here. <laughs> Ooh. Hang it out, friend. What you gotta do? Discarded journal, we got more Lacolite. Blood smeared logbook. Let me see if I can corpse ra raise any of these people. The corpse does not respond. It looks like one over there does. Very good. But I think we should be here. These people here. Hold on. Let's get this so we don't forget. All right. Now we have another. Find the night song. Reach Adamant Forge. Wait, there's Adamant Forge is right here. What is this up here? Find the missing boots. Find the deep gnome runaway. We got missing boots. We gotta find. Hold on. Hold on. Read that. Under dark. We offer to help a dwarger track down a runaway slave. The slave escaped with a pair of boots belonging to the Durgers. Sergeant. You know what's interesting is that. Well, I don't know how I feel about leaving these guys alive now. <laughs> because if you think about it, we done slaughtered Zentrums up there because what? They were slavers. Somewhat slavers, at least. And now we kind of just let these guys go. We're letting them go right now. But we're, get, we're going to let that gnome go. I don't. We're not going to bring that gnome back. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery. But it's cause for celebration either way. When he saw the fire of whiskey we've been brewing, I swear he teared up. I had only a cup of that stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift, but Myrna claimed that she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. The burrow warden didn't say a word when the snores started. Layabout is lucky she got a soft touch. Layabout? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe she likes him. I'd best get some sleep. Orders just came in for practice shovels, pickaxes for the youngins, and I've yet to harvest... Is there one? Maybe? It's silent. Something silent here. Where does the time go? Time just flies, friend. It really does. Time flies. We were over there and they didn't even see us. They didn't even care. We have a blood smeared logbook here. A ledger detailing an appearance and quality of numerous gemstones that have been mined from rock. Weight, color, clarity, and more noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlying entry for a sizable ruby is written in shaky, excited quill strokes. Let's take that. How you doing, Astarian? You like this shit down here, friend? You enjoying yourself? Rotten basket? Let's not. Say we did. Let's definitely not. Before we raise this corpse, let's go uh, loot these up and see if we can talk to this gentleman. Fish. Hey, man. Like, they don't even give a fucking flying fuck that we are just stealing everything in this camp. Nova Scarmer? Gek does the talking around here. Bother him. You're a little hairy, aren't you? All right, take care of you, little beast. Literally. <laughs> this motherfucker's got gray ass chest there. Arm hair, back, arm hair. Get it all. Let's talk to this gentleman or lady. Can't really tell. What on here? Please, oh, let me know what's going on here. The corpse regards you. Lifelessly. Hey man, who are you? What's going on here? It looks like a worker. 
were you doing when you died? Where did you come from? Did you have anything valuable? <laughs> no, no. We're fiddling with rubble yonder. No one's worth fiddling with the rubble yonder. So it's over yonder. Okay. <laughs> what were you doing when you Hunting. died? Hunting! Runaway slave! Looks like you beat your ass. What was your profession? Where'd you come from? What happened to you? Where you Hunter! Come? Reaver! Warrior of the Absolute! Where'd you come from? Yeah, where'd you come Across from? Across the Ebon Lake. There's more about the Ebon Lake. What was your profession? What happened to you? Let's see what happened. What's the profession? Is probably a minor? Yeah, I mean, it's probably a minor. My goodness made me hurt myself. The corpse does not stir. It will answer no more questions. Listen, I want all the questions. Just let us have all the questions. <laughs> Nothing else over there. Well, I guess we can. Be up here. We have these boats. I mean, we can't just we can't get on these boats here. They're red. I mean, they'll get pissed if we just jump on their boats. Okay. Well, look. Let's uh. These boats look like they're gonna lead us to the Night Song, Sharon Temple, Adamant Forge. It's not like we want to go to any of them places anyway, so it looks like this is a way to get to that place, but we'll probably have to deal with these guys first. Secret Gnome Stash. That bad boy is... What's right here? But it could be down. That little rocks, are you? I don't want that corpse. Yeah, it's down here. I'm gonna be inside this little nook. Did you guys not come over here and check, though? I mean, you're right here. Friends, I can't wait to get into a damn fight here. I want to check out this Valor Bard. We got combat inspiration now. I'm fucking excited. I missed already being a big tanky beast. Let me get over there. Wait, that's not the spot. Where the fuck is this spot at? Is it up here? It's saying down. I don't know rocks. Oh, here it is right here. Arrow of many targets. Where? What is this thing? Arrow of many targets. Do an additional half damage. Right? It says melee. Nice. That was the stash right there. So it it didn't show up until we talked to that guy. There were many targets. Like, what is that? Let me check that shit out. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, 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 don't. It's an arrow. It's an arrow. I mean, it says arrow. What is that? I can't believe it. It's an arrow. Duh. Okay, let's go up around here. There was no corpses we could raise over there. There's no more green corpses anywhere else. There's a shovel. We don't need it. Let's get out. Let's go up this area here. I mean, we can go up here. There's just so much places. I'm going to go up here. Yeah, this is the. This is where we're going. We're going up here into the scary little woods area. We still got this area to explore, which we will. We're gonna get every little single nook that we possibly fucking can. All right, get your sword out, sir. We have not used Valora Louvre yet in combat. I don't believe, not once. We need to. Okay, this is a way up, but it also looks like no. Is not. There's more susser stuff because it's. Oh, maybe not susser. Is there so much shit in the Underdark? Wow. My question is seriously, this is my question about the Underdark. If we just say 
Okay. Fuck it. Which I'm not going to. But if we just say fuck it and then go do the main quest, what happens if we just leave the Underdark? I'm curious, yes. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. I'm just curious, seriously. Uh, well, obviously no spoilers, but the things in the Underdark here now, if we maybe pursue to possibly, I don't know if this game has acts, chapters, and whatnot, but if we go forward, wait, that seemed that again was important. We have a poison spore, picked up a lump of mac, macanoid flesh. Anyways, the Underdark that we have down here, if we don't explore this Underdark fully now, if we go and do, say, Lazale's quest, and then we just go and try to fight in the Night Song, or whatever, and pursue maybe into the next act. Hey, friend, there you are again. Will we lose out on things in the Underdark? I'm just curious, because I'm doing the Underdark anyway. It's going to take a while. I think it's going to take a long time. But my question is, do we actually have to do it now? If if we don't do it now, will we miss things? I don't want to miss things. You know? Because eventually we'll hit a point of no return, I'm sure. Hey, what the fuck are you over there? Carlac? I said Carlac. Hey, uh, you want to jump over here? What the fuck are you? It's a hook horror. Dark sight. The creature can perceive its surroundings without relying on sight. Multi-attack prone. The hook horror can make a multi-attack if the target is prone. Dark vision. Yes, we're in combat. This is a big beast, too. Well... I would say... This bad boy kind of has the advantage here. Is this the... Yeah, this is a fucking... The area where we've seen that grave. Alright, Astorian, my friend. I would like you to... Hunt. Get sneak a little bit. See if you can pop a shot at this bad boy from here. You're close. Or sneak attack. Oh, we already used the sneak action. Damn it, we should have used bonus sneak. I'm so stupid sometimes. I really am. I'm really am. I'm a fool. So technically, a Starian's turn is just wasted now. And when we can bonus action get closer, but I don't want to. I want to stay here with a Starian. This looks like a good spot. It's going to have the funnel. It's going to come over here and either go this way or this way. Astorian's in the other uh, opening right there. Unless it's going to shoot us at range. And I don't think it's going to shoot us at range. It looks like it's melee. Unless it spits stuff at us. What we'll do is pass with Astorian. Shovel. Let's put Shovel into stealth. How cool would it be if Shovel could like cast invisibility on other people? That would be absolutely amazing. Where do I go from here? Alright, shoves. How about inspiration? Inspire an ally to add a plus one to eight. Bonus to their next attack roll, ability check, saving throw, weapon damage, or armor class. It lasts until long rest. Wait a second, though. If we buff, let's say... Who are we gonna buff first? Because already, when we got. Let's go ahead and buff the sail. And love it, man. Look, we healed too. Wait, did we got that helmet on? We do. We got that. We got this that was over by Alfira, remember? This cap, and it's coming in handy now. So, this is basically all we can do with our bard skills. We can only just buff them, essentially. And now we're kind of more tanky. In the same aspect as well but this roll it's a bonus action is it's gone for now we can't do it another one of course but if it was regular inspiration it would only be a 1d8 and i don't believe it gives us all these things like attack roll ability check saving throw all that cool shit. i feel like this is giving us a bit more it's fine it works out 
Should we vicious mockery it? I mean, we can destiny whispers it. Let's frighten the creature. 60% chance is better than no chance. Let's try. Eat that frighten. Son of a bitch. Let's get closer. I want to get right need to here find a way forward. Right. I finished the match work, man. Wait. We have more over here. We gotta finish the master work weapon from. Yeah, but this is bark. We gotta get bark for that, right? Okay, this is de definitely the Susher tree then, as it was talking about. Wait. Mari can move more. I don't wanna move more. I wanna move more. I wanna move more. <laughs> I wanna stay right here because I don't wanna get too close. I don't wanna. I don't want to get so close to it, it's going to pick me up and body slam me into the fucking chasm, chasm here. Chasm, chasm, whatever you want to call it. That thing. Bye Let's forever, pass. Pal. That works. Let's do shockwave on. Jump across. Well. Oh, Garlag is a paladin now. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to go back to Barbarian first, Can't friends. We're going to do Bard and Barbarian. 100%. Sure. That's exactly what we're going to do. She can't get across that, but can she smite his ass? His ass, her ass, its ass. Old person. That's a creature, though. Of your enemy. Brighton? No. Garlag has aid now, which is nice. Divine smite. That's close. Fucking hell. Yes, he range. Let's shoot range. Two? Well. Miss. Not really a good. I want to see where it goes. Because, like, I, we can work on Carlac this way. We got it blocked off with Ari over here as well. Swift and Lazale is a beast. She can just jump across. Strike. Direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Astarian. Yeah, I didn't love it, my friend. What we need to do with Lazale is shoot this damn thing from afar. We wasted combat inspiration on. Oh shot. Oof. I forgot that I inspired her. That really hurts my ass. My path be true. Ugh, what a waste. I'm not action surgeon yet. Shut that oversized chicken up. <laughs> you do it. You're the one that's sneaking it back over here, friend. Well, how about we cutting dash a little bit closer? Time to move. Let's get a story in here, right? Problem is, a story has disadvantage on this thing. Oh, sneak attack! You don't even see us coming, friend. Good night. Ooh. Beautiful. I kind of want to get you over there and bite his ass. Let's do. Let's have a little cutting fun. action. Hide. We'll back up just a little bit more with a story in. Let's go back in this little alcove here. Pass. Shovo. Let's get shovel on the bridge. Comes the best thing. No choice but to keep going. Little fucking beast. Connor! Get your ass over there in love life. <laughs> Connor has been quite misty step over here. He has been quite the uh all-star for our team, honestly. And Misty Step is so good. I love it! <laughs> Well, can't do nothing else. Oh, I should have got closer. What a fucking putz. What an absolute putz. 
Karlak! Well, Owen. I can jump you across the chasm here. Shock waving and doing things and stuff. Magic weapon. You a weapon with arcane energy. The weapon becomes magical, receiving a plus one bonus to attack rolls. It lasts until long rest. Smite the son of a bitch. Okay, far enough. Damn it. What can we even do? I guess let's hit it with me. Swift and lethal. Now this is my happy place. Let me go back. Cancel and turn. There we go. Hey, I did it. Cancel and turn. <laughs> This thing with Bane. There we go. I mean, that's better than nothing. Now you're surrounded, son of a bitch. You're not getting over this bridge unless you jump. You're just gonna get beat I the fuck up. <laughs> Lizelle is so fucking ready to fight. She has been just waiting forever. Wait, how can we? There we go. Get the Yankee jump, and then we're gonna haul ass over here. Jump to. He's such a beast. Hello, friend. Good Let's to see you. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's say I don't give a F. You're screwed now, sir. She's about to whoop all your asses. Let's work on this piece of trash first before we work on that one. Eat that and miss it. Okay, that works for me. This boulette, all it's got to do is come over here and do a tail swipe, and everyone is host. They're in the, the depths of a hell because we're already in the Underdark. Can you imagine where that goes from here? Oh, how, how, hey! Guys, fight the boulette back there, uh, okay? It's dashing. What are you bashing and dashing to? Who the fuck are you? Get up there. Philaro, the Forgotten. Shit, runs. <laughs> Fucking hell, we're screwed. Hypnotize Lazale. Shit. Um. Well, we can't just leave that guy back here. Someone's got to go deal with him. Starion, maybe we gotta work on this one now. Let's smite it. Need to learn the hard way. Oh yes, that was beautiful. That was beast mode. Divine Smite 2. Use a, use a level 2 spot. Let's get Smite. Oh my goodness! What is this paladin craziness? Inquisitor's Might, you or your allies' weapons, attacks, deal an additional 3 drug radiant. Oh, let's fucking do it. Wow. Karlak is a monster! Look at her! This thing's almost dead! <laughs> this is good. Astarian's gonna kill it. Art historian. Let's do cunning dash. A little bit over here, sir. Closer. Good night. See ya. Starian for the win. Alright, what we're gonna do is cunning dash over here more. Oh my goodness, historian. Yeah, go ahead up here. Fuck that guy up. We needed someone to get this guy. Well, Astorian's up here going to tear you up. Enter strike. Spill some blood. Ooh, it broke his concentration, which is good. Astorian, I don't really like your positioning, my friend. I feel like he's going to thunder wave you off this fucking thing. You're going to be down in the t Oh, no. Let's trigger opportunity attack. 
At least if we fall this way, we'll fall this way. I think it was worth it, just in case. You know? I mean, you never know. I don't... Yeah. Too risky. We can go back down. No, we cannot. It's fine. Well, I guess we can work shovel over here somehow, some way. Let's get her in stealth. Another fight. Pass. Let's Ari. go. Who do we deal with on Ari? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're gonna deal with this guy up here. I think we should dash. Have to keep going. And deal with this guy up here. I think he's too important. He'll just sit there and keep laying waste to us with spells and shit that he's got going on. Mobile shot. After using a dash this turn, you can make a range attack as a bonus action. Oh. That works. Damn, critical hit. That was beautiful, Ari. Absolutely, my friend. It's almost done. This one's Bane. Bane? Did I Bane it? How was he Bane? Seriously. Who Bane this target? I know we used Bane on Karlak, but we didn't hit him. Did Ari just Bane him somehow? This one's not Bane. Are you controlling these things, obviously? I mean, it's definitely controlling them, gotta be. I don't really want to fight that thing. It's helping us. Jump over here. <laughs> Let's work on killing these. I'm gonna shoot it from range. Miss. <laughs> I don't want to get closer because I don't want the bullet to fight us yet. I want them to take each other out. I'm just gonna try to pepper the targets here. In a way. We can go up top and get the advantage up top. I mean, we could throw Connor in the mix and... No, 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 no. Easy, Connor, easy. Uh, you're fucking screwed, pal. You're not. Connor! You bastard. Your image. Get the fuck out of here with that. One. That's why I don't want to get in there. Because this bullet's going to do some serious. <laughs> Shovel's going to murderize you. What we can do is we can go. We can jump over here and start wailing on the ass of this one. Let's help the bullet. Get this weapon on. You bow. Hope it's ass. Sam's missing so much. How is she missing so much? We don't have the two-handed thing on, I don't think. Oh, we got lethal attacks on. <laughs> That's fine. We'll knock that guy out and... She probably has to kill him. But we'll knock him out. We'll see what happens if we knock him out. She don't have two-handed strength on, but she's missing like crazy. How? Why is Lizelle missing so much? We don't, we literally don't, I just showed it. We don't have this on, but she's missing a lot. I feel like the last time we fought with her too, she did the same. She kind of missed a lot. I'm ready. Just luck, right? Probably, I'd say. Okay, okay, how about a uh, sneak attack on this gentleman? Shield, huh? Bloodless. Oh, he's got one health. Shovel is going to murderize him. There you go, Shovel. Good I hit. This is worth the cost. Well, let's get this on and just. Damn. Fucking thirty percent, huh? 
normal strike him? <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Let me see what you got going on here. Scribble notes. Quarter staff. Remember that. Scribbled notes. Matter scroll. Half eaten gnome. Into the bloody fray. Into the bloody. Susser Bloom. Let's not do that. We won't be able to cast spells. Need to get down there with Ari. It can't be up here. Fuck out of here. Need to get down. A story and needs to stay up here though. I can tell you the Valor Bar don't really have much going on besides the uh, the buff. That's that's kind of it really. It don't have the things and stuff. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? All the other sword hard things. <laughs> Butt bombing, baby! We do best. I'm gonna bane everybody's mother efforts over here. Man, come on, man, we can't go over there. Oh. Yes. Oh, hell. Cordillac, you're in the. You're in the business right now. This bullet is gonna be hitting you, which I hope not, but we're helping the bullet for now. Corner punch! Another one? No. Don't throw away, fight. Corlek! Ow! Astorian, my friend. Let's cutting dash over here. We're kind of far away with Astorian. But we might still be able to hit him. Get down a little bit. Waypoint discovered. So sure Shrey. Waypoint. Oof. That was beautiful. Astarian almost one shot that thing. We still got more turns with Astarian. I guess we can. Should we cutting dash here a little bit closer with Astarian? I mean, we're going to get the advantage anyway, no matter what. Just thinking about getting him a little bit high ground. Any high ground is high ground, right? Let's get him up this tree here. Perfect. Astarian, you little fucking sneak thief. What we got here? Shovel? Shovel work on this one. Shovel killed. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment with you, Ari. Well, fucking wanna be knocked the hell out. We go down there. What we can do. Damn it, friends. How about inspiration? Carlac. Dun, da, da, da. Look at him. Enjoy. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Fucking hell. Are right, you're supposed to be the tank, man. What are you doing up here? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're able to cast things and stuff. Disengage. Let's dash. If we can dash all Best the way over way. yonder. He's so slow. Am I over encumbered here? <laughs> yeah, we're encumbered. <laughs> shit! Let me just throw me some of this shit back to camp. You've seen our chest, right? <laughs> Good. Bring it on. Where'd you come from? That works. Works for me. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Time to whoop it. How should we be doing this with paladins wise? Should we be pressing Divine Smite or do we not need to? Like, Divine Smite feels like it's the bonus action that the Barbarian had. What was the bonus action the Barbarians have? I can't remember the name at the moment. But that's what it kind of feels like. We can sear and smite this mother effer. Like that. 
So you already smite it for 10. It's going to burn for like 10 turns. Really? Takes one this... This is crazy. That's such a crazy racial ability if you think about it. Because like... No. Harlock's the only one with that, right? I was thinking that the tiefling... Zerial tiefling in the character creation screen was able to get this too, but I don't think they did. I think it was like this. Thermaturgy or something. Valiant defense. as an additional on your next weapon attack. Oh. Very nice. Main hand attack? Sure. An acid. That works. I mean, this thing has got a lot of health still. Honestly. Astorian, you're kind of Let's see, we have... Oh, that's... Okay, that one guy. I of will course. ascend. Lizelle, you have to do it, alright? You have to do your thing here. Second wind. Rally. Anybody needs rally yet? We can cleave. I say we lacerate this son of a bitch. Lizelle missed. Again. She hit that time. Okay. I thought it, it looked like it died. We can pummel this thing. Let's pummel it. Well, that doesn't work, but it's something, I guess. All right, you can get Connor in the mix here. Oof. I want you, Connor. I'm on a chicken, chicken bird dinosaur thing. Only reinforcements? Good. Bring them on. Astorian can sneak attack that one, but we should probably sneak attack this one. Wow. That really hurts my ass. Into the shadows. I'm cunning hide there. Leave no trace. Cunning hide here. It looked like we could hide here, but that one, obviously. I mean, see? We got this little sliver here. We need to get on top with us, Thorian. It's fine for now. Double. Miss. Blood comes easy these days. Blood does come pretty easy these days. Fucking Ori. One day I'll catch a break. So far out of battle. <laughs> it's just this. Okay, what can we do from here? We can, um... Kill, kill, kill again. That's so no word. We tried. All right, Carlac. How about we magic weapon? No. Compel duel. We can compel the duel here. I'm just smart. What other creatures your quarry to deal on additional? Always prepared until long rest of concentration. No, so we got Bane up right now. Because I think we got Bane up still. No, we do not. Bane is done. We're gonna wait until the other one comes in. I, should we bless, really? Honestly? Can we bless? Story and now. We'll wait for Ari to come before we bless. Let's just smite the son of a bitch. Divine smite? Sure. Critical miss. Yeah, see, because Divine Smite's letting us do a bonus action almost every single time. It's a level one spell slot, though. And we only have so many level one spell slots to do. It's beautiful. We're out of level two spell slots on Carlax. You can no longer cast any of this stuff. We have one level one left. We have four lay on hands charges. Where's the fucking lay on hands? Right here. Damn, four charges of lay on hands with Carlax? Shit. Time to strike. Easily. <laughs> Good riddance, mother effer. It's like doing that... Like... Whatever it's called... Thing. Or it... Almost like it... It just bugs out. It just... Freezes, basically. 
All right, well, the Zale cannot do anything right now. This thing's got fucking one health. Here we shove it. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do damage. Misty Stab. Here's protection. Something. Double kill? Oh, it's a counter kill. <laughs> How you like that, you son of a bitch? Connor's here. Coming right for you. Ari's about to get in some battle, finally. Good! Run closer to him, because he's taking 20 years to get to you. Wow. Here, <laughs> little piggies. Shall we range sneak attack? Left yourself open. Or a starion. Cunning action hide. They will bit them. We'll do nicely. Let's dash here. That's fine. Trouble. Little beast. Behold anything is anything, you little monster, you. Is Connor still up and about? He sure is, man. Alright, let me jump in the battle here. I want to fight. Okay, ran over. Let's use Valora Louvre here. Let's do the shriek. The shored. The shored. The shored shrieks. All enemies within 20 feet of range have a 1d4 penalty to Charisma, Wisdom, and Intelligence saving throws. Affected creatures receive an extra 1, 2, 4 thunder damage. The sword will stop shrieking if unequipped. Shriek. I'm happy it's like not yelling like a shriek in our ear, which is nice. I was thinking the sword is just going to screech. But hey, that works. God, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty hot in here, madam. I think we should just uh, basic attack. <laughs> Find smite him. That smite, love it. Damn, I can wreck it. We should have worked on the bullet, I guess. I don't, I don't know when we're gonna fight that damn thing. Maybe if we just fight it and focus on it, it will stay longer. It just shows up, helps us for a second. It's not really helping us, but it's helping us. Just look around and see if there's any more enemies anywhere, isn't there? And then it rolls the fuck out. I don't know what else to say about it. Fiends and undead. Victory awaits. Whatever that is. Hey, Azale. Whoop it. <laughs> miss, madam. <laughs> hit it. She critical missed twice, so that means that she rolled a one twice. It's not this jump thing that's doing it. She has a high chance of hitting. She's in the upper 60s, friends. I mean, it's pretty high. Think about it. The sword is a good sword here. Sword of Justice. We got it from the paladin guy that we killed. Really missing with Lazale a lot. Huh. It's not fighter, I'd imagine. Fighter's probably a really good class. I can't imagine it being fighter. It's, I just think it's luck. Or, well, the better word, I think it's bad luck. She's just. You need bad luck protection, Lazale. Really. More than that tears protection thing. Connor, it's okay. Sheesh! Okay. Well, we tried. <laughs> Let's get another sneak attack with Astorian. Oh! Very good, my friend. I mean, I know we have extra actions here. I see it. But I don't want to move Astorian from this spot. We'll do it my way. Cunning action hide, sure. I don't want to move him from that spot. And we can't do nothing else but the... Technically, we probably should have moved them, actually, if you think about it. Because we could have sneak attack with daggers, too. Ah. I mean, like, you get advantages from this guy being surrounded here, basically, next to an, an ally. He's got an advantage for upper ground, higher ground. 
But then again, if we got into melee, we would have been able to use offhands and a sneak attack. So, yeah, we kind of screwed up. That's fine. This thing's a corpse in a second anyway. Still on my feet. Hey, Ari, what can you do? Let me do some whispers. It's been quite a while. <laughs> we killed him with whispers. Thou goblin goo gobbler. Or Elixir of Vigilance. Friends, this is crazy. Look, it's red still. That must mean there's more enemies around. Nice, oh, Ari. What was wrath? Oh, we're over orc loin. Just in the tree? Oh, it's on the ground here. I thought it was hanging in a tree. Oh. Friends, we got some exploring around to do here. Ari, right, I'm gonna get on somebody else. You're screwed, pal. Let me get on someone else to go around here. Look, we gotta get the susser. There's more stuff over here. Click on this. How about I click on this? Okay, that's the missing ma missing masterwork. So that is the susser tree over there, rib cage. Hello bones. I've got Let me get on Ari. I gotta fucking downgrade this inventory here. Oh, we got the scribble notes as well. Let me give this to Astarian. Friends, we got the guiding light ring here. Hold on, anybody else doesn't have a ring? Still Sorry, I don't have a ring. So that's progress. Should we give him guiding light? Sorry, and I want you to have this. Yeah, so you I have. I buy it. Ring. It gives him the light spell. Intestines throb, blood whispers. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Sorry. There was the scribbled notes here. Scattered notes are scrawled by a chaotic hand. Protector, guardian of Adamant Forge. From Magna Rose, only in Magna Destroyed. Hot hammer, hot hammer. Where? A small map is drawn underneath marked by numerous X's. The followed words are scratched beneath it. The horn nose? The horn? To find a way forward. Because the investigation failed on everyone. Rob, you see that? What was that? Like something just. What was that? Let's go over here. I wanted to check this. I know we've seen a grave, so it's saving automatically. That's not good. Well, that's good because something's gonna happen. Rogue some morsel. Better be the fucking bullet. We're gonna fight the bullet if it comes out. There's no reason to get turn base. Get out here and fight! We got the bullet, friends. It's time to throw the hell down. <laughs> it's not happy. Not happy at all. Connor. Get out of here. We just got out of battle, too. I love it. Offhand. We can heal. No need to heal. Let's buff up. Let's get Lazale off edge here. Maybe it'll help her a little bit, you know? A little closer with Ari. Get in the mix, my friend. You're in there. Survival failed. What does Bullet do? Pickpocket this son of a bitch. Dark vision opportunity to attack territorial. The bullet will attack other monstrosities before going after smaller prey. Oh, you think we're smaller prey? I get it. It's got resistance to slashing, piercing, resistance to bludgeoning, and acid resistance. So magic. Karlak. Your smites would work, but I think you're out. Ooh, this is not a good team for fighting this bullet. <laughs> Fuck. Not good. Time for cold. Works for me. 
Starion, can you jump on top of this thing? Let's cunning action and dash over here. Let's go. This is where Starion. And then. Friends, I don't, I don't know. The only thing we're going to be able to do. Arrow of Darkness. Poison. Arrow of Ice. Let's shoot arrows at him. Ready or not? Cutting action hide. That works. I will ascend. Well, the thing is, I mean, Commander Strike. Give it to Astorian. I don't know what else we can do, really. Taking position. Getting close. Combat inspiration. I suck with that combat inspiration, don't I? Yeah, I kind of do. So she got combat inspiration was used on Commander Strike. Damn it! Fuck. We have to use it before. I mean, ultimately, yeah, you can say like I hit Carlac with it, right? And then she did bless. Ultimately, it still buffs bless to be like 100%, even though bless is like 100% anyway. You get what I'm saying? But that in general, it just. Acid, you belching on us. Can I jump in with Carlac over here? Yes, just one damage. A, hey, it's something here. All right. Poor fucker. It laughed. Did you hear it laugh? It like laughed. <laughs> Oh, Connor's turn. Get him, Connor! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just laughing it up like you guys fucking suck. Well, Ari, we're gonna have to use spells, my friend. Doesn't it whispers? Yeah. Well, I think that works a little bit. Don't want to heal. Combat inspiration on Astarian. Can we use Falora Louvre again? No. Short rest now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, we're gonna have to get Shovel out. Can only be cast outside of oh, for the Shovel would have loved this. Little monster. Let's shoot more ice arrows at this damn thing. There we go. Valiant defense for a sneak attack. Oh, that works. It triggers and... Okay, cool. Let's Commander Strike it. And hit it with... That's... You the poison, though. I don't want to get a Starion in a melee. I mean, I could, really. Think about it. It's a melee action. And... I guess we can... Make it hurt. Use the commander strike and then go back out. Sorry. That was actually way worth it. Let's disengage a little bit. No. We'll use all fan attack. Look, this damage, it's still like it's got resistance to this stuff, but we're still doing a bit of damage here to it. I am death. Which is very good. Let's go and jump in with Lazale over here. And then work on. Open the backside. Ah, shit, we should have used astral knowledge here. Fine. I didn't mean to. But that kind of works. Now, the, the bullet's done for. We're gonna fucking kill this damn thing. Finally. Opportunity attack. Ooh. I need to hold on. No, we're not. This thing won't kill us. This thing's gonna kill us. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Carlac, lay on hands. Be Ari. Free. 
I got two. I said it like way too early. I said, oh, we're gonna kill this thing. Nope. Whoa, this is not good. Let's rally. Wait, rally more people? Need some oil over here. <laughs> so what? <laughs> we all need healing. Can we take some potions? Let's see. I don't even have no fucking healing anywhere. Survival is all that matters. Friends, we are not doing good. I'm gonna take a potion of speed here. can't heal now. Let's do cold. Oh yes, that was a beautiful Ori. Let's do 5 to 40. 5 to 40, fire. Lightning. Let's do fire, 5 to 40. That works. This is not good. He gets another turn and jumps on us. It's over. We need to spread out. Somehow. Let's spill some blood. We need to spread out somehow and I... God damn it. Did we hit him? What do we do here? Let's cunning action disengage over <laughs> here. Damn. We're a star in. A better position. Yeah. Not enough action. There we go. Okay, Astorian's got some room here. Ice arrow to the ass. Save the ice arrow. Oh, you bastard. I'm gonna get a little bit more distance with Astorian, because you might be the only last man standing here, Astorian. Damn it. Something over there. Came so close. Damn it. Ah. That really hurts my backside, friends. Let's short rest. Look hard. One day I'll catch a break. Need some oil over here. Nice little nap. Nice little nap Rooney. Oh, lost short rest again. Ah. Rested enough. Now, forward. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, we were so close to killing that thing. I mean, it was so close to killing us, though. Fuck me, man. One of these days, we're gonna get that damn thing. It was a good battle, though. Loved it. Bloodstone. We got some rotten tomatoes here. I don't really want that rotten tomato. Oh, we can actually click on this damn thing. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dig up grave, leave? <gasps> I'm not gonna dig up the grave. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. We're not digging up the grave, but I have a feeling we could probably do something with that grave. I'm not digging it up right now. I'm gonna sit on. I mean, I know we dug up the one grave. Remember we dug the grave up in the in the grove? I feel like we need them flowers, though. Do we not? What the hell we find them flowers? I probably use them. The sad part is, I mean, I, yeah. It's, I mean, that's the sad truth is I probably used them in alchemy. It's fine. That well, tree. <laughs> I didn't know the Underdark could be so beautiful. Yeah, it's a Susa tree. Absorbs magic. 
we were fighting around this damn thing and getting our magic absorbed. Anyways, my friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here. And when we get back, we're going to explore more. I want to get the flowers. There has to... We have to be able to put flowers here. Probably, maybe. You think? Like, think about it. That codex told us about a grave, Myrna's grave. And this is Myrna's grave. But hold on here. Was Myrna... Myrna was a dog, right? It's... Look, it's somewhere in here. To the gray, torn out paper. It's... There's so many notes in here now. It was one of these books. I'm pretty sure Myrna was a dog. Torn out paper. I just looked down. To the gray! Morning letter. Runs our inventory is fucking... Crazy. Parchment. That's not it. Yeah, right here, look. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Mariner's grave. We gotta find them. Because that's Mariner's grave. Remember she liked to roll it around and um, okay. She was a loyal dog. She's such a soft loyal dog. Mariner was a dog. We can dig up the dog. <laughs> gonna dig the dog up. I don't know. I don't I don't think we're gonna do that. Well, we're gonna probably change the party. To be fair, this is, this was actually a good party here, if you think about it, because the Susser stuff that's over here, it pretty much negates magic, right? We need the long rest again. Ari's good for a while, I think. Oh, well, we got our bard stuff back anyway. This is an interesting bard. I don't think it's as powerful as the sword bard. I think the sword bard is a lot more powerful than this one. This one seems like it can be but it might need help it's it just seems bare it seems like basic compared to the sword bar the sword bar seemed like it had a bit more this is all we can really do is combat inspiration here but it's cool because we have a, sh a shield we're able to use shields and a sword you know which is really cool but compared to the sword bard i don't think it does the damage but we're not in it for the damage now. I'm kind of in it to be the tank of the girl. I want to be the tank of the party here. So eventually we're probably... We're going to go back to uh, Barbarian. But we're going to stay Bard. We can't not play Bard now. It just seems so fitting for Ari to play a Bard now. You know? It's almost worth just staying. Specifically for the charisma checks and, and all the stuff that we can do as the main character. But... I'm sure we will be leveling up here at some point. Is there a way to look at that here? No, not for a while. Because at level 6, we're multi-classing. No, we're not. Why don't we multi-classing? Because level 6 adds something to the bard, does it not? Extra attack for the bard. That's what was brought up. But... Does that only work for sword bard? Because this one technically isn't sword bard anymore. I don't think that this one gets the extra attack. Right? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But we have a lot of stuff to look forward to with our builds. I don't really know what we're going to do with it. We can go to the try the other bard. Like, I really did like this one. But I think the sword bard might have been better. I know I just said it. It would have been a little bit better. I still want to keep trying this, though. But Ari, was he really useful in combat here? It didn't really seem like he did much compared to what he could have done as a sword bard. Is tanks necessary, though? I have this allure of wanting to tank with him, but is it really necessary? You figure, like, the best defense is a really good offense. You kill him quickly, and, well, you don't really need to tank him and soak up damage. The long, the long and short of it is, I don't think a bard can fully be a tank, the way I'm envisioning here. You're looking at, like, a paladin, probably, a fighter, or a barbarian, fully. The bear barbarian that we made that one time, that was a beast of a tank. Yeah. Maybe we should spec into barbarian a while. And do a couple points into bard. To try to do our barbarian thing. And this is the thing, is that, like, this is cool. This is very good. This bard here... What is it? The valor bard? Seems like it would couple pretty good with... Barbarian, because all things considered, we can do this in rage. Maybe? 
I think we can use this in Rage. Like, I don't fully know, but I'm pretty sure we probably can. Bonus action, Bardic Inspiration, I'm pretty sure we can use this in Rage. I don't know, actually. If we can use this in Rage, let's just say, then it's going to couple pretty good. Anyways, but I'm just rambling on. Next episode, we're going to keep on exploring some of this area. We need to find these Autumn Crocus flowers. I know we can probably do it. It just seems like it, it, it's something we can do. I know I picked them up at some point. I must have used them in alchemy. Unfortunately, it's not like I knew anything about this. But, I mean, it is what it is. We're going to have to keep our eyes open for it because I want to bring the flowers here. I want to just honor the, uh, the puppers that died here. And then, I don't know, we're just going to do more exploring and just kind of take it from there. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.